know, it's really awesome to see that this is still happening. There's still this amount of grassroots passion for sustainability, renewable energy, and everything associated with it, electric vehicles, all of it. Um, you know, it, so at this point, it's, it's moved more into mainstream, which was, you know, that's absolutely our goal. But, you know, we're absolutely an underdog. You know, these technologies are still in the sort of 1% or 0.1% of the overall market. So even though some things seem like mainstream today, there's still a massive need for, for this kind of grassroots you know, movement to, to come forward and, and uh, galvanize support for this. I've always been fascinated by sustainable technology. I don't know exactly what it is about that, but even since, you know, before I was in high school, I was really interested in, in how to solve problems in a sustainable way. Even in college, I, you know, stuck with that passion and got into solar car racing, which is still a sport that, you know, is, is growing and, you know, pretty successful in, among a number of different universities. You know, solar car racing has actually been a phenomenal place for us to recruit employees. And we have a lot of employees at Tesla that were ex-leaders of solar car teams or founders of those teams or, or team members. These type of education programs, and I know some of you here are educators, um, are so, so important, you know, to get students engaged in this stuff and get them inspired by it at an early age. It's something that we really want to promote, I want to promote, um, is, is critical to the industry. Because as a sidebar, one of the things we've found that's the most difficult challenges to scaling up manufacturing and engineering and just building more and more products uh, has been talent. You know, ironically, there are, there are actually a scarcity of people, if you look across the country and across the world, who have deep expertise in these type of technologies and you know, have followed that training all the way through their, their schooling. So, so starting people off early is really critical. We're going to stop burning fossil fuels because the products and the technology is innovating so quickly that it will make better products that are more compelling that people want to buy. You know, just like you know, the Stone Age, you know, people stopped using stone tools when we had metal. And the same thing is going to happen with energy in all of its different forms, in, in trucks and cars and in houses and, and solar and wind and everything else.